Building rapport and trust is very critical when it comes to influencing without authority because you don't have the power to tell them to do what you want to do. What yep. do, do as I do, right? How does that help actually, having, having the good relationship with, with the people? Well, I mean, if they like you and they know your motivations are sound and I trust that you have the best interests of the team at heart, mm -hmm. then it makes me, it makes it more, I'm, I'm more willing to listen. Mm. I think that's already half oh, the battle. That's a win already, right? Yeah, right. That's if I'm willing to listen and then I'm willing to contribute some mm. other ideas where mm. it makes my work a little bit easier, yours as well, mm -hmm. and then we get a win-win outcome. Again, easier said than done. Uh, but that's where, that's that's the starting point, isn't it? So mm. you have to understand first. And then when you communicate, you try to help them understand where you're coming from. Yeah. So it feels like a help me, help you, help me, help you, then help, help me, me help back. Me. Okay, sorry, you lost me. I help, help me, help me, you. help you, help me back. And um, it, it's, uh, <laughs> but the thing about the trust and rapport, it's not going to be an overnight thing. Yes. And, and that's how, very How do you build trust and rapport? It's easier said than done, isn't it? So you know, What's the best way I love to build trust and rapport? Tell me. Beers. Uh, but I don't like beer. Tough. Exactly. <laughs> you can watch me. So, so, so yeah, it, it's it's not as straightforward tough, as it sounds. So, sometimes so when, you have to. You, you know, sometimes you have to be yeah. in the trenches. And, and then someone. you know, I, I like the, what you just said: being in the trenches. Because yeah, uh, if you have a regional job, and once again, if you're the unnecessary overlaid, we call them okay. seagulls. Why seagulls? They fly in, they crap all over, and then they fly out. Okay, I thought they're flying and steal your potato chips on the beach. Well, yeah, that too. <laughs> and, and, and then you have to clean up once they leave. And so when a regional person comes in, there's so much preparation work. And then when they fly off, there's so much follow-up and clean up. Okay, Why? Like that. It was off. intended to make the regional person look good. So, okay, once again. <laughs> Just saying. If you're one of those seagulls <laughs> flying in to prove on people Corporate in the life. region. Okay, uh, what you can do to, to build rapport is Bring the team out for lunch, for dinner, you know. It's always the, the late night karaoke. Uh, no, the, the I want to go home to sleep. Yeah, but, but when you do that, if, you don't, if you're flying in and you're just doing the stuff and flying out, yeah. there's no chance for, for, for building the relationships, uh, you know, and, and to build and deepen it. Because once, once you have deepened the relationships, uh, things get a lot smoother. I like to call it the grease. I, I, I get that. Um, but again, I think a lot of the team bonding shouldn't take away from your team's personal time. So please no, don't run on, team on. bonding on a Saturday. No, 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 of course not. But, <laughs> but if you're evenings. flying in, but, but if you're flying in, yeah, and you know you're three days there, dedicate this one evening. One one evening, to, but not too late. To, so no karaoke sessions. I don't know. Maybe maybe it's an optional thing. You but, know what uh, I mean? For, for me, the best the best relationship building exercises have always been not the formal. Hey, let's go to the field. Let's do some team building. Yeah, no, none it's, of that. It's, it's always none the chill that. evenings, yeah. even. Even one on one with one, yes. team, not the whole team, but yeah. with your key stakeholders. Yes. You know, just say hey, where do you, where do you guys go for dinner. You know, in, in my experience, um, the, the the ones that fly in run a town hall, mm -hmm. give instructions, and then fly out are the worst. Mm. But at the same time, if you take the effort to have one to one conversations, and I appreciate that. Do you but know? more importantly, I think the best way to build um, a team bonds mm. is to roll up your sleeves. Yeah. And go see the customer together with the people, or go see yes. the operations. Yes. Go talk to the people on the ground, and don't don't just do the the the, the window dressing. The, yeah. the political hypocrisy is so yes. clear. So and one again, thing, one thing. Yeah. Uh, uh, when I was in my old here, I think firm, I had a British boss, yeah. and he used to say that the difference between the British troops, especially World War Two, was that uh, the the generals and the colonels and all those guys are actually down in the trenches with everybody. Yeah. And uh, they're mixing around, so and if you die, the troops die. Not 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 like not like in Singapore where you have the generals and everything all, all in the aircon room somewhere, right? So no, I don't know. Ground. I'm sure I've they are never because we are, we are so we are so, we are so, we are, we are so <laughs> protective of our of our stars. But I, uh, you I've know, it's, never but it's interesting because if you look at Napoleon himself as well, yeah, uh, yeah, the troops he, loved he, him. Yeah, they, they loved him. They would die for him because yeah. he spends time. He knows these troops by name. So yeah. it's important for you to build trust and rapport. Yeah. If you want to influence without authority, yeah. because that's what real being, leadership is. Yeah, really, that's all about. Yeah, yeah. So, so, yeah. so, so bear in mind, uh, and it's going to take an in, in investment in time, investment yeah. in energy, and it's going to cost you even more if you're an introvert. So yeah. just be prepared for it. Yes, yes. Introverts who take on mm, tough, tough jobs and tough projects. You know, but I, I beg to differ sometimes because introverts make the best communicators. I agree. 
uh, Obama is an introvert. I mean, is, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> he's still, you know, um, and he's one of the best orators ever because uh, yeah. he makes sense. Yeah. Um, again, introversion is not your social burnness. It's not mm. a measurement of that. It's actually a measurement of how deep you think um, and, mm. and how much information you have to share and what type of reflection you've done. So introverts sometimes communicate the best. Mm. That's how I feel anyway. Sure. The other way that actually debilitates a person's ability to influence without authority is poor communication. 